afternoon, everybody. Thanks for being here. Um, thank you, Alice, for the talk. I, uh, I, had, I, I have more questions now. Um, and I think it's a good starting point for great ideas and good projects. Um, I'm going to speak about a project that I'm currently working on. It's called Children of the Sea. Um, it is a play written in collaboration with and performed by former child refugees who now call Australia home. Combining the dialogue with collaborative theatre making, satire, storytelling and acapella music alongside interactive scenes boldly placing an audience members in scenes of commercial transit, cuts highlights one of the most contested ongoing debates in our current political climate. Um, it was in 2016 that I moved back to Australia. I was given a letter by a former director that I was working with in Paris. Um, that was a letter from a somebody who was in the Detention Centre in 2007, and he was still there. I came to Australia for six months. I travelled around, just speaking to the community, listening to the community, people who are on Manus or Nauru at this current moment, uh, circle officers who have worked there, lawyers, UN ambassadors, UNICEF ambassadors, and after all of these interviews, I, I collected about 67 of them. One of them was, was with somebody who was um, 16, no, 14 years old when I interviewed him, Mamana, who came by himself on boat. And that story punched with my gut, and it was a story that needed to be heard. Um, from the perspective of children, of how this journey affects their childhood, their memory of home, their identity, their narrative, and how children, uh, how children deal with loss, <coughs> abandonment, and also, um, yes, loss and abandonment. Um, Cots which is short for Children of the Sea, <coughs> uh, asked the audience, audiences that is going to be us in the future, when it becomes a clear play, uh, to examine critical questions about how do children respond to tragedy, what does it mean to involve children in adult theatre, and perhaps more, and most importantly, how can theatre challenge structures of power and subjection to performance. Uh, the script combines verbatim stories as well as uh, as well as stories that were taken by the actors who were also children or who were former refugees. They've had a huge input into the writing of the piece. This video is going to talk about some of a process of casting and development that has uh, been done or taken place over the past year. Yes, thank you. <coughs> I studied theatre making at uh, Wapa DCU and then Shafter Hope School, where, which is about collaborative theatre making. And uh, that is where my passion really lies. And that's what brought me to Children of the Sea uh, project, actually. There's a lot of ensemble work, there's a lot of collaboration on all different levels of uh, the creation of the piece, which is writing, direction, as well as the, um, the uh, choreography. For about three months, I went on this journey to uh, all major cities around Australia conducting interviews without any aim in mind. I just wanted to find out what is happening on Nauru or around us. After I did that one interview um, with a young person, it, it really made me question how do children uh, uh, deal with tragedy? Uh, and it was so different to how all the other interviews that I did with others. It was, it was completely different because for him, it was more an adventure uh, journey. It was, it was almost like, uh, you know, he was in a labyrinth and he felt he was playing inside the labyrinth. Even when he was telling him the story, there was a, a certain joy and curiosity um, in the way he was telling the story. So those interviews helped form the skeleton of the work, the dramaturgy of the work. And now the cast is going to take those, uh, take that text and make it their own. So the, 
the children, the young people who are involved in the ensemble now, I will have a great radiance into the writing of the book. I'll be on the Yeah. The workshops. Uh, the workshops took uh, place over a period of three months. We went into different schools uh, in the suburbs as well as uh, different uh, refugee uh, grant organizations, assets which is the Association of Services for Torture and Trauma Survivors for Refugee Background, Edmund Rice Centre and also Metropolitan Migrant Resource Centre. And uh, through those five workshops, it was about really getting to know each other and seeing who is excited about being part of the theatre. And through these five workshops, we found the current ensemble of uh, uh, 12 young people. In theatre, in theatre, you, it's a very collective, it's a, uh, you always work in with other people, right? And for something that I put a lot of emphasis on, how to make it a safe uh, space for children to tell their stories, to have their own opinions, um, to, to be more vocal in the group, because a lot of the uh, kids and young people who came into the virtual was very shy. Um, and I uh, want to also kind of like confident to um, share their opinions. But throughout the five workshops, and the end, there were kids coming and going, okay, this is, this is what we believe in, this is what we want to do. So they start, slowly start to um, open up. But for that to happen, I think what the, the space that we had to create was of um, uh, playfulness. We played a lot of games. We played a lot and a lot of games uh, throughout the rehearsal period. A lot of ball games. Um, and through that process, I think during that during those workshops, we really found a complicity between each other. Yes, there's a lot of chaos. And to accept the chaos, I think, is one of the things that I've learned from this time. To rather than go, oh my god, what is going on? Um, go with it. And from that chaos, a lot of beauty has even the form of the current work, current piece of play, has come out of the chaos. And there was this thing that uh, somebody had told me, so people come into theater as strangers, but leave as a community, right? Um, and I think that children of the sea uh, is going to do, uh, uh, bring two communities together which have not been in contact um, and provide the space uh, 